I'm Nat and this is James. For over two years we've been sailing the world aboard our floating home Zephyr. Someone once said that every person can transform the world to one of excitement and adventure. Follow our adventure by clicking the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Become a patron by clicking the patron logo. You will get early access to weekly videos, exclusive content and much more. This week on Sailing Zephyr, we continue our adventures through the San Blas Islands in Panama. So we are leaving the Lemon Keys and we're heading for the next set of keys, which Ta-da. are the Hollandaise. Uh, sounds like a really interesting food combination. <laughs> um, but that's where we're headed to now. So they're meant to be even more beautiful than the Lemon Islands. So uh, yeah, very, very excited for that. And uh, there's not a drop of wind, so I think we're definitely motoring. Uh, and thankfully with these polarized sunglasses and James's, we can see the reef. I take that back. We're actually gonna sail because there's some wind out here. Are you gonna switch off? I think so. I'm just kind of watching the wind. It's kind of dipping a bit at the moment. See how we go, but we got two knots of boat speeds. <laughs> so we only got eight miles to go, so it's probably not too bad. Silence. <sighs> <laughs> Let's get the main out. <laughs> just realized we can't tack with the paddleboard there so James is gonna move it <laughs> meanwhile I'm gonna continue with my book which is a drift by Tristan Jones on his boat sea dart there it is uh, he's had some crazy crazy stories he's been all over the world and uh, yeah really interesting book I got it at a book swap when you grow up people fill you with doubt you start thinking about what you're gonna do now but we only go on chance and go on life to live and it's do or die gotta make it count so lose your worries let your problems go on until my whole body burns out i ain't never gonna slow down stay the night <laughs> I don't want to waste time I don't want to waste time I don't want to waste so we're here in the Holland days and we are on this little island don't know the name of it and this lovely family here um, just invited us in to come and look around and it's so beautiful. Check it out. This Gunayala family told us that they stay up to three months on the island before swapping with another member of the family. In this way, creating equal opportunity for each family member to earn money in the city. It's 
What are you guys up to? Oh coconuts. my god! Wait, wait, there is one more. No. Oh. I need to, I need to go scratch my leg one second. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you okay? Yeah, all good. Um, <laughs> what do we need no, to do? Maybe I'll. There is one, this one, you can see. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm gonna, that's I can a walk big around one. The tree and you um, stay on my I'll shoulder. I'll try to hold myself. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Fall on top of my head. No, no. The biggest coconut I've ever seen. Watch the tranquility of the trees. Hey. Hey. Wow. Down wow. more, but I think we're good. No, 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 I think that's good. Um, okay, I got you. I'm on the tree. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I'm on the tree. <laughs> like, actually. That's what you call teamwork. <laughs> Oh my god. Whew. Nice effort, girls. Dunsky. All right, so we're going to head to where? We are going to go to this little island here called Niskaloop. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I pronounced that right. It's essentially in the Los Bajos Lagoon that we're currently in. And we are going to try and navigate through these little reefs down through here. And we're going to try and tuck into this little lagoon inside the lagoon right here. And there should be a nice beach on the island and maybe some good fishing. We'll see. Hopefully. Yeah, let's get going. So we have arrived at our next anchorage and I mean, they're all starting to look very alike. So I don't blame you guys if you think we're in the same spot, <laughs> but uh, we've got reef at the front. We've got island behind us. We've got this island over there and just a bunch of reefs everywhere. Um, that we're gonna go and explore. We're gonna check on the anchor quickly now. Our friends on Bella are gonna head over in a bit and anchor right next to us. Um, but yeah, we thought there'd be way more boats here and we're kind of like the only two around this area, so. Um, Paradise to ourselves. Yeah, that's right. So um, yeah, let's go and check it out. James is putting the dinghy in now. Yep. I'll lower with you. Yeah, where are we off to? We're trying to get to this island, Nyla Kadupa, whatever it's called. And it's really shallow, so I'm rowing the queen <laughs> of the oceans to the beach. And I think I'm gonna have to jump in and walk here in a second. Not yet, we've still got a bit. I'll show you how shallow it is though. And Zephyr is just out there between the reefs. We got this beautiful little beach we're exploring.
The following morning we head to the swimming pool anchorage. This is one of the top spots in Laguna Yala region, so there was no way we were going to miss it. And well, it really did not disappoint. In the misty bright moonlight I were told When the storm is raging in your head When you feel there's nothing more ahead The hill says First time ever, we can see the chain all the way to the hook in the water because it's that clear. So we don't need to get in and do a check. I can, <laughs> uh, yeah, hooks dog. <laughs> So lunch today is leftover lobster carbonara. So we made a big lobster carbonara. We had like five lobsters in this and we shared it with our friends and we got lots left over. Had a bad lunch, so I'm gonna throw it in the pot and get it heated up because we are starving. And lobster carbonara for lunch at the swimming pools in the Hollandaise Sandblast. So. And then I think this afternoon, I'm gonna go try and catch some fish and lobster. Hey Nat. Yeah. Lobster carbonara. Wow, I've got loads. Say it away to a girl's heart is lobster. Hello. <laughs> huh? Where are you? Yeah, I'm up here. I don't see you. <laughs> there? Yeah, I'm sort of. Popping up your paddleboard. Just throwing out some bikinis, which is my hardest thing to do because, as you can see, I have a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's my one. Vice, would you call it like you love bikinis yeah but this is what happens to them out here this is why you need so many because check that out it is just salt encrusted it's time for this one to go <laughs> no i only have a hundred others <laughs> so today is raining so that means boat cleaning day <laughs> there's james trying to clean up a little bit out here and we've tried to clean this table we got coconut uh, all over it and it would not come out so uh, yeah try to do a bit of cleaning as you can see it's a bit doom and gloom at the moment even though we're still in paradise game plan for Zephyr and crew I think Coco Banderos for maybe two or three more days at least. We have their phones charging on our um, on our boat, but we're not 100 percent sure if it's from this family or from a family from a different island. Well, we're off to explore some of these islands on our transportation, the paddleboard. <laughs> If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content, and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.